टू मंथ्स बैक आई पोस्टेड अ वीडियो वेर आई एक्सप्लेन हाउ यू कैन सेट अप गूगल चैट ए पी आई नोट इन एन एट अंडर दैट वीडियो आई गॉट वेरियस कमेंट्स आस्किंग हाउ यू कैन सेट अप वेब बुक इन साइड एन एट एन दैट कैन रिसीव द न्यू मैसेजेस फ्रॉम द गूगल चैट स्पेस दिस वीडियो इज द सेकेंड वीडियो इन द सीरीज वेर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन रिसीव द मैसेजेस फ्रॉम गूगल चैट स्पेस and our anaten agent is going to respond back to google chat space let's get started now before moving forward if you haven't watched the part 1 of this video where we understood how we can set up the google chat api node please watch this video first because whatever we are going to learn in this video is totally related to the previous one okay so i am in my anaten workflow i have created a new workflow and i am on the same place where we completed the last video i have added a google chat node over here and let me just first add these two nodes let's just i've selected the service account credential that we created in the previous video and now we are not able to get the space so first of all in order to get the space id we will go inside the google chat space i'm going to create a new space let's name it google chat x netten and i will create one now we will the application in my case the application name is netten let's Add this application. Now we have to configure this application because we are adding this for the first time. Let's quickly do this. Allow. Yeah, it's done. So now we can see that we have get the first message from the Google from this application. Now let's let us test out. Are we able to see the application name over here? Let me just quickly shuffle the credentials first and reselect it. Now I will just able to see that the same chat which I have created right now. I'm able to see this now. Let's try to send a message. This is a test message sent from Anaten. Let's control save and execute. So now you can see that I got the same message from Anaten to Google Chat Space. But now in this video, we are going to understand how to listen to the messages that we are getting that I'm going to send from Google Chat Space to our Anaten. So in order to listen to the messages, we first need to delete this manual trigger. And instead of that, we need webhook. So the scenario will look like this. With like we now we already understood how we can send the message. Now we have to understand how we can receive the message. Our AI agent will be in between, and we will get the message back to the Google Chat space. Now, what exactly you have to do in order to make that work? If you remember, in our last video, we have created Google Chat Chat script. We came to this app script script dot google dot com. We I clicked on the get started and click by clicking over here we created a new chat app. So you just have to open the same chat application. In my case, this is the one. And what you have to do is you have to change whatever code you have in this particular file with the one which I'm going to give you guys in the description. So you just have to copy paste the code and paste it over here. The second thing which you need to change is according to your use case, like according to your webhook. You just have to change the webhook that you have with the one with your webhook. Okay, this is the first thing that you have to change the webhook. And let me explain you over here. Uh, my webhook is this one, and in because the security part is very important. Let me just open this uh, web node again. Now the security part is very important. I've also, if you can see, that I've also added the authentication header auth and created the credentials over here. So, because I want to make sure all the credentials are safe and like whole combination is going to be safe, I have created the credentials on the Anaten side and I have to pass the same credentials uh, from the Google Chat. So, simply you just have to go and create the credentials. In my case, it these are already been created. The key is authorization, and this is the one with the bearer and um, password. Bearer and the key. So. First of all, you'll just change the webhook you have, and if you will scroll down, uh, there's one function which is actually sending whatever response we are getting back to the Anaten. So over here, you can see that in the headers, I'm passing the passing the authorization as well as the bearer token. So where is the bearer token? We have to set in Google Apps Script because that is a secret key. We will not like we should not actually paste that key. Over here, anywhere in this code. For that, you have to go to the settings and go over here, and you will see that in the script property, you can just create the property and add the key over here. And this key should be same as we have set up in the editor. Now, once you do both the changes, you 
must have to go click on manage deployment click on this pencil icon select a new version and give it any description and you can just set click on deploy your application is going to deploy now all you have to do is you have to go come over here in your google chat space and say hey there it your application name in my case it's, it's nitm how are you and how you can help me something like that i'm going to send the message and let's see if we are able to get the response over here in the meantime let's see if we are getting the execution because i just executed this code oh, let's see we i just executed this code and i was not able to get any sort of message and let's see okay so one second because last time when i was changing this so it's the same thing and over here we will select the google chat we have to select this space right i will also in the later video i will also tell you like how you can like dynamically set the chat space like from whichever space you send the message you will get the reply from the same space let's save it again i'm going to go and hey let me just send the message hey and we'll an item let's just tag this can you tell me the joke tiger and let's send this message so what we are expecting is like when i'm going to send the message i'm going to get the reply within the space so you can see that an i an an agent what trigger and we get the reply so in order to make sure that everything works correctly we will go to the execution section click our particular execution let's see yeah so you can see over here we have successfully get the same message hey uh, can you tell me this joke on tiger and the NIAR and agent generated the response and we get the message back to our space that we have created how cool it is now we have understood like how we can receive the new messages and send to our NIAR and agent and NIAR and agent is going to reply back to the google chat space now just to give you a brief summary what we have done so far is let's go over here we have already completed the step one like creating the Google chat mode. We have successfully authenticated this. We have uh, copied the script and deployed our app script, replaced the script, and we have also created the webhook. We have also updated the webhook in the script. So all of those things which we have done so far is the crux of this video. Now we will be able to send and receive the messages. But here comes the second part and which is the most important. But I think maybe you will you guys will face in future so i'm going to include all of these things in this particular video so on a community forum on an atm i got a reply and asking a person was asking like whenever we are sending a message inside a google chat space every time we have to mention the name like i did over here at the at the rate anytime if you will not mention your application the application will not respond and this is kind of annoying like every time i'm going to send a message because even i'm chatting with the application directly it's kind of annoying to every time mentioning the application so i have a solution for you like no need to message in space like for some of the use cases it's good one but if you are use case that you don't want to uh, like uh, message an application inside a space and you want to talk it directly and without mentioning anything you can do that so now i'm over here inside my application and now it's saying thanks for starting a dm now let me show you how you can also even chat within the dm now how we are able to actually doing uh, with how we are actually solving this problem you no need to take care of anything because whatever script which i'm going to give you in from the description that you have already pasted in your google app script over here this script include this use case and it is going to take care of that so now if you are sending the message from your dm you will get a reply in your dm let's try this hey can you please again tell me the joke on card let's see so i must got a reply over here so now you see that i sent a message from dm i got the reply in the DM. if i'm sending a message in a space i'm getting a reply in a space and how we are doing is is just a small part over here which i'm going to which i really want to explain you so that you must be aware of like how we are actually differentiating over here so over here you can see that i have added a if node and whenever we get anything um, from the webhook you see that we are getting in webhook we are getting something like space type is equal to room so whenever a user is sending a message inside a space that space type is considered as room and if i'm sending a message as a dm 
so this space type will consider as a dm so over here because it's not equal to dm then it is going to send a message to the respective space and if it's dm then it is going to respond back everything like whatever the message we have to this google app script code and the google app script code take care of the rest thing and be then able to see the message that's it like how interesting it is now let's try one more thing right let me do one thing uh, let me create a new um space okay and let's name it test space suppose other user have done in, in your organization someone has created the space and you told him like you have created an application and you can just talk with it right so let's add this application over here right into this application and i am getting the first response so let's see if i'm able to message this application hey the return it in or uh, what is the time right now so because i actually because now currently our agent is not able to get to the time so let's just make some fixes um, to let's make some fixes to this one so that our agent is able to just tell the current time this is make an example that why i'm just adding this i will just add if on the expression and i'll just add a time stamp uh, dollar now that will be the time right so let's just save it quickly and uh, yeah it's saved and let's send this message Let's see if our agent is able to tell us the time right now. So now you can see I sent a message inside this test space and I got notified and got the reply of this message inside the Google, like the previous space. And the time is correct. Like it's currently 1 p.m. right now in India. So now we also have to make these things dynamic. Like maybe in future, if you are adding a particular application in different spaces, you will not be happy to like go over here and just change, select a different space and all. No, we don't want to do this. We want to make it dynamic. Like from wherever we are getting the, this one, from wherever we are getting the message, whichever space, like even if it is test space or Google chat space, we should get the reply back into the same space. So let's do one thing. If this, this one is fixed, right? Let's make it explicit. Now you can see this, the space name looks like this. Now we will do the simple trick instead of just making it dynamically. We get this thing in form of a web. Book. I'm getting the space ID. I'm just adding the space ID. I'm removing the static one. So now the our webhook will work as is. It doesn't matter from where we are sending the message. It is going to send the reply to the Spain from this to the same space where we are getting the message. So let's try again. Hey, what is the time right now? Please in this DDMYY format along with time. And don't forget to mention your application. Because you will not be able to get the response if you will not mention your application inside space. Let's see. Yeah, so today is like over here. It's 31st August 2025 because I am not added any species. That's why it added like this. So let us see if it is able to understand the like because this is a different space, right? And if it is able to gather the previous conversation that we have. So if I say at the rate and um, can you one second? I think it's still not that right. Can you? Tell me the same in the words. Okay. So because it's in this space, so it should take the history of our previous conversation based on that it like. So yeah, of course the current date time is 31st of August 2025 at 1302. So that's correct. But if I go over here and I'll see um I add the rate anything what I asked you last time. Let's see what will this reply because last uh question was like what's the current time etc. But in the previous one it was not like yeah it was about the joke that I asked asked for. And this is a tiger's um joke. So like what I'm telling you over here is because our session ID is based on our space so if you if you go over here so we have a space id right so i for the session like from where we are storing the simple memory i'm actually just getting the space id so for different spaces it's a different conversation itself so that's how that's how it is able to uh, basically differentiate the chats based on the space ID. yeah that's it from my side and I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. And the last thing which I wanted to tell over here is that this respond to webhook mode. I, I think I already mentioned this. So the last thing which I wanted to share over here is that I'm also going to 
add a link feedback link in the description i would love to know about your feedback or your queries like you maybe you have something any any other thing in your mind or a particular use case i would love to know your queries what you exactly want to do and what we can do more inside um like google chat space and any tenant integration let's see we'll try to focus on solving that problem thank you